an inevitable part of working at home, a necessary part even, is taking a break. But not every break is equal. And I'm going to elaborate here because it is important. Being at home, we can take breaks, which we wouldn't be able to normally take at work. For instance, we can choose to play a video game, breaking up our working routine and taking our mind elsewhere and thinking that by doing so, we basically replenish our mental resources and refocus our kind of concentration. And that allows us to become more productive. But this is not what the evidence actually shows. What the evidence does show is that by playing something as involved and involving as a video game, we actually deplete our neural resources and affect our working memory. And working memory, for those who are not sure, is the part of the short-term memory which is involved in linguistic and perceptual processing. In other words, the part of the memory which allows us to understand what we say and uh, understand the importance and the relative value of what we do. So by tiring that out, we actually become worse at our productivity, we become more tired in our break, and we can't easily fit back into work again. So we're at home, we're working quite intensively, we're working alone without any kind of distraction, and it does get tiring, and we will need to replenish our mental resources. What sort of break uh, should we take? Well, um, read a book, listen to some music, sit there with your eyes open and daydream, sit there with your eyes shut and listen to music, sit there with your eyes shut and daydream. Any of those activities, which probably would be frowned upon at work, except perhaps reading a book, maybe, <laughs> uh, are actually really good for replenishing your mental resources because they allow the um, uh, working memory to reset. Playing a video game is a no-no, and I'm sorry about that, and I'm a gamer, and I know that for, for a fact. But the moment I allow myself to play a game for, for real, as in being mentally engaged, I know my productivity suffers. So if you're at home and you are tempted to play a game thinking, okay, I'm going to break up my work pattern by playing a video game, and then I'm going to get back to work, be aware that this will actually affect your performance, and then you're going to blame yourself thinking this being at home isn't working, etc., etc., and this is not the case. So being at home really requires us to develop a kind of smart, clever, efficient uh, working strategies that we have learned over the years to apply when we are in a work environment. I hope this helps.